I'm here to tell you the story of a composer, starting now. A composer is a person who takes small pieces of music and puts them together to form a story, kind of the way the letters in a word form that word, and then you combine a couple of words together and get a sentence, and then you combine a couple of sentences together and get a story. A composer's job is to take small pieces of music, combine them, get a few rhythms, combine those, get a few measures, combine those, get a big phrase, combine those, and then eventually have an entire piece of music. Composers will take those pieces of music and then ask musicians to perform them. Or sometimes a musician will say, hello, Mr. Composer, will you write a piece of music for me? And that's called a commission. Let's talk about your composer of the month. The composer you're going to learn about today is named Domenico Scarlatti. Oh, I, I just got the times mixed up. I was supposed to be in my crochet lesson right now, but we'll talk about Domenico Scarlatti first, and then I can go to my lesson, right? Okay, let's focus. Don't distract me. In 1685, the same year that Johann Sebastian Bach and George Friedrich Handel were born in Germany, Domenico Scarlatti was born in Naples, Italy. Many of our great composers were born in Germany, but this one, Scarlatti, was born in Italy. Domenico's father, Alessandro, was an important composer of opera. Actually, he was credited with inventing Italian opera that we know of today. First taught by his father, Domenico followed in his footsteps and also composed opera. In 1705, Domenico's father sent him to Venice, Italy, where he studied with Gasparini and Antonio Vivaldi. While he was in Venice, Domenico met a friend named George Friedrich Handel, who's another one of our famous composers. While they were there, a great patron of the arts, Cardinal Ottoboni, arranged a contest between Handel and Scarlatti. Handel won the organ honors, but Scarlatti was unbeatable on the harpsichord. He was an incredible keyboard musician. Scarlatti established himself in Rome. First, he composed chamber music and operas, and then he began to compose more harpsichord music for himself and for his students. He became the music director of St. Peter's in Rome in 1715. In 1720, Scarlatti became the court harpsichordist to the King of Portugal, and then he became the teacher to the Princess Maria Barbara of Lisbon. The keyboard music that he composed for the princess turned out to be his greatest contribution to music literature. He returned to Naples in 725 when his father died. In 1728, Scarlatti got married to Maria Catalina Gentili, and together they had five children. In 1729, Princess Barbara married the Spanish crown prince who became the King of Spain. Scarlatti followed her to Spain and spent the rest of his life in her service as her music teacher. Many of his keyboard sonatas reflect the vivid colors and the rhythmic elements of Spanish folk music. He composed over 500 sonatas that became some of the most famous music of all time. One of those very famous compositions was the Cat's Fugue. Scarlatti's cat walked over the keyboard striking notes that Scarlatti used as the main idea of the fugue. Scarlatti's keyboard sonatas alone place him among the great Baroque composers. The Baroque period is a time where simple ideas in music went away, and more complicated, exciting flourishes and embellishments became the most popular way to perform and listen to music. You're going to hear some examples of Scarlatti's Baroque era comp compositions when you listen to the Cat's Fugue. When you finish watching this video, I want you to go back to the assignment and click on the links where you can listen to some of Scarlatti's music with an adult. Don't forget to watch these videos. Thanks for talking about composers with me today. Now I have to get to my crochet lesson. I don't want to be late. Until next time, Volete Griffins. All right.
right. Gotta get going. Bye.